Hey everyone, I'm back to bring you guys a new episode of Star of Kessin 2, and it's going to be brought to you guys by GamingNewOne.com. Okay, so if we look at the last episode, I'm going to be blown with you. I barely survived with Zhang Fei over here, and there's other fights going on too. Unfortunately, morality morale seems to be against me for the moment because there's a lot of Cow Cow officers around here, including Cow Cow himself, and of course there's Kimiko. Okay, so let's go ahead and get Mai over here and double team on her with Yubei. Because she's the only one stopping Yubei from getting over there. Remember, I gotta make sure that Yubei gets to through her in order to basically win the battle. Or complete this level. So I'll go over here and I'll switch to Lugavion. Then I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll use some magic. Hold on, that's this. Sorry about that, I sneeze. So there isn't really much officers here. That kind of sucks because I don't really like to use magic when there's not really much officers. You know, because that'd be wasting it. Because it takes a while for the damn thing to charge up and such. So the only thing I can't do is just keep going. Or maybe I should just go ahead and use some magic. Screw it. Let's see what happens. I'll go ahead and use a bit of lightning. It's not going to do as much as I would expect, but it, at least he's going to lower his numbers a little bit more. And morale. So it's always a good thing. And just like that, God has decided to strike down with some lightning bolts. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It was too big, to be honest. We all knew that. Okay, well, I got way more officers than he does, so that's good. Same fact, I don't really know what to do with you. I guess I can get you to go ahead and join in the battle against Kimiko. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and see how the battle is going on over here. She's, uh, she's still got about 9,000 of her own officers still left. But considering the fact that both my and Ublay have about 10,000 combined, that shouldn't be a problem. Not to mention the fact that I'm using Meteor Shower right now. So that's good too. And down goes the females. Okay, most of the females. She still has a few more thousands of soldiers left. Really need to take care of her right now as soon as I can. Because if Guan Yu or Lilo goes down or any of Yubei's other officers, they're gonna, I'm pretty sure they're gonna come after Yubei. And geez, Lilo's morale's not looking good neither. Damn same, she doesn't have rally because that would really help out the situation. Of course, Al Son Zudan doesn't really have any morale left himself. It's just like the last fight with Zhang Fei and the other chick. Well, not really a chick, more like a transvestite. Well, I wouldn't say transvestite, more like a guy who's probably messed up in the head. I don't know what to, what to describe them, honestly. What the actual term is for them. I mean, I've seen them in different media, but I really don't know what they're called, though. Forgive me if I, because of my ignorance on that part. Come on, Lil L, you just gotta hold on a little bit longer. That's it. Don't go down on me. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, look, they're beaten. Victory is ours. Oh, Kitty goes down. Okay, Man, yeah. How stupid. Alright, sweet. Okay, all you Bane needs to do is just keep going over to the thing. Oh, but not before cutscene happens. Let's see what's going on here. Looks like reinforcements have arrived, and there's Liu Bei. And there's Cow Cow. <laughs> it's like he's not even in the mood to deal with that guy. Oh shit, here we go. Okay, this is the battle we all been wanting, looking for. Die, you mumbro. I'll defeat you and save Yao Chan, Cow Cow. On guard! But how exactly did Cow Cow get close to you bay he was all the way on the other side of the map ah, screw it video game logic
Uh oh. Oh, he's not gonna kill him, huh? I see. Humiliate him first, then kill him. I can dig that. Though honestly, if I was in his shoes, I'd probably just humiliate him, then probably kill him, because he's the main obstacle. Okay, well, if Lulu can hold on, I think she'll still get some experience points. That's just good. Because we all know she needs some way new attacks. Come on, get through there, Lupe. Okay, good. Alright, that mission is done. And I'm pretty sure that there is no way all these guys are alive Don't and kicking. Think we're done yet. I will get Yao Chan back. Or that there should be a lot of them. Then again, maybe that is how it should be. Brother, we're lucky you survived that. I know. Now we go to Ziako and plan our attack. Huh? What was that? Wait, what was what? The invisible leash that the is using or something? Oh, that guy. Okay, Grand Marshal Sunquan's army. Okay, I couldn't read the whole text, unfortunately. Huh, I'm liking the blue on this guy here. Always should enjoy the color blue. With the victory we have claimed in this battle, our army has finally gained the upper hand. No, we haven't. You know that. Come on now. Okay, supplies increase is 34. Morale increased. Military increase increased from 20 to 22. Issues are supposed to be advancement. All officers to advise about that has gained experience. Lube's light foot unit has been advanced to foot. Okay, that's it. Right, fine then. I am joined by my brother-in-law, Peng Tong, and by Wang Zhang, who is master of the bow of giant strength. I'm Peng Tong, and I am the cleverest fighter this side of heaven. Who's Please also call probably me a stoner. Wang and do take pleasure in my service. Okay then, fine by me. I'm more interested on the guy on the right just immediately. The guy on the le left looks like he's uh, a stoner or something or smokes the marijuana. You know, you question how exactly is he able to communicate with Dao Chen? Not because of the fact that, you know, you think that Cao Cao would know that Cao Chen, Dao Chen is communicating with Yubei, but the fact that Yubei is on the move every day. I mean, did how how long would it take to set that thing up and whatnot? Oh, well, that being said and done. I'll go ahead and I'll save over here. So I overwrite the data. Yes, I will, please. Okay, hopefully this won't bite me back in the ass. Probably will, but screw it. Will you return to the game? Ye hmm. Yeah, sure, I'll do it. Turn back. Oh, shit. Showdown at Chibi. Okay, this is actually one of the more fantasized battles based on actual events here. After working his way to Xia Ko, Liu Bei hopes to work together with the Kingdom of Wu under the direction of Zhuge Liang. Wu is a great independent state built by the mighty Sun Quan. Into this land of wealth and strength inherited from his forefathers, Sun Quan has gathered a large body of skilled fighting men. With Cao Cao's forces on the horizon, Sun Quan feels uneasy. However, he forms an alliance with Liu Bei and agrees to face Cao Cao's great army. Meanwhile, Cao Cao's army, which is garrisoned in the Jing province, hastily prepares for the inevitable, a fierce and dangerous naval battle. 
I remember this one pretty good Lord when Sun I was a Kwan, child. I'm so grateful that you've decided to fight with us against Cao Cao's army. We thank you. Now, now. It would be very hard for us to fight Cao Cao on our own. If we work together, we can destroy his army and send him back home. He's a mighty opponent. If we're not prepared, we'll last about two minutes with him. I know that. All right, what are the options then? Does anyone have an idea? I do. Please allow me to be the first one to present a plan. The enemy army recently took in Kai Mao. But Cao Cao is very suspicious and doesn't really trust him. Knowing that, we'll forge a letter by Kai Mao. We'll make it look like he's going to betray Cao Cao's confidence. Cao Cao will pick it up. He'll rage with anger and then punish Kai Mao. That way, he'll lose one of his strongest assets and will surely win. When Lord Liu Bao died, a portion of the Jing province threw down their swords. Then came Cao Cao. He came in and crushed their homeland. So if we call upon them to fight Cao Cao, I can assure you that we'll be certain to win all of them over. This is what I think. How about having our two armies train together? We'll combine our best points. Then we'll be even stronger. This will help us to beat him. Lord Liu Bei knows Cao Cao the best. Let's ask him. He's the one with all the qualifications to choose our course of action. That's all right with me. Let's see. Of course it's all right with you. You get to make the choice. All right, so you know what, people? Considering how the showdown at Chimi is probably going to be a big battle, because this is probably one of the biggest battles and was one of the biggest battles in Chinese history, I think it'd be a good idea to just end this episode right now, because if I were to continue on, this episode would probably be like around, I don't know, 30, 35 minutes. So that being said, everyone, thanks for watching, everyone, and be safe.